up everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing something different um as you can see behind me is this e90 320 d that i just bought it's a bit of a fixer upper i'm going to show you guys how i fix this car up and flip it and hopefully make some profit on it so stay tuned it's going to be a good one so just off the top you can see this car does have a bit of body work it's missing a curl or two uh the main part is that this rear axle when they were bringing the car to me it broke so we had to end up towing the car here paint works not too good on the side the car was knocked and repaired poorly it's missing a diffuser the wheels are all different colors inside is pretty decent it's a lci with the nice infotainment roof lining does need some work sunroof and everything is working all the windows are functional So guys, we've got Sam over here. He does all the BMW's code unlocking. He's able to unlock special features. You can introduce yourself there, bro. I'm here. My name is Sam. It's a small startup business. I only started about a month ago. Help me expand my business. You can follow me on Facebook. It's Samos Customs. I'm here. So we're gonna be doing a few mods on this car. We're gonna the passenger light, the seat belt lights and do a bit of the front headlight modifications as well. So guys, let me give you a little bit more insight on this car. Please excuse the noise. They are installing fiber here finally. So when the, pre when the owner advertised this car, he advertised it at 50K. He says it was running and driving, but he also mentioned that the axle needed changing and that the license and stuff was behind. So we arranged to meet, uh, like before we could meet, the car, the axle broke or the wheel bearing seized. I'll, I'll put a clip of the, um, the damage now. Just move, shake it like. Mm. So that meant that the car wasn't driving. So that means that we have to negotiate a different price for the car as well. And like, you know, include the towing as well now because we have to tow the car home and now we can't drive the car. So we don't know what else is wrong with it. Uh, at 50,000 is not bad. If you look at the market of these cars, the clean one in the spec will go easily for 130K. So at, at 50k, our renewal was in the money. Uh, he did mention that the car had a rear accident. Upon further inspection, we realized it was actually a bit worse. And there was damage, like, you know, the car was re-sprayed all over, but still, it's a fully specced E90 320D LCI with the N47 motor. The motor and the gearbox are good. So far, I've changed the rear axle, I've changed the rear caliper, the wheel bearing, and yeah, plus we had to Tow the car home, which was another 2,300 rand. Um, I spent 1,400 rand at 
Boxburg Auto Alignment, they are the best in the business. They manage to straighten out everything in the back, in the rear, make it all, making the car drive 100%. I, cha I, I changed out the roof lining. That was a big job. <laughs> Nobody tells you that you have to remove the rear seats to remove the, the wood lining without damaging it. Or obviously take out the windscreen, but we won't can do that this time. This car is a fully specced one. It's got the updated iDrive, or the double arm as some people might say. It's an automatic with sunroof, um, you know, M Sport LTI, one of the most desirable types around. We've done a few small things. The car, the car might need a steering angle sensor and stuff. It's more like, is the car, is it worth selling the car now, or do we put the money into the car and sell it? I personally think it's a, it's a cheapie. So we put, we, we get the car running and driving nicely and sell it off to whoever needs, whoever wants to buy the car. It's still, it's still reasonably priced. Priced. I'm probably gonna price the car at around 65k. I also bought a bonnet badge, uh, a rear diffuser for the car as well, a wheel cap, which came out to about 1,850. Was a bit pricey. I had to pay this guy's brother for bringing the car, which was another 400 ren. So for now, for now, I'm gonna do a little DIY on the on the wheels. I'm gonna spray the wheels myself. Look, I'm no spray painting expert, but I do know that the main part about spraying is your prep work. You want to make sure that it's sanded down nicely so that it's got contact for the paint to heat on. Also, mask it up nicely, make sure that you know you're not spraying unnecessary parts of the car. Everything is nice and clean. I'm going to continue masking up the rest of these wheels and yeah, stay tuned. So guys, wheels are sprayed, diffuser is fitted. I'm pretty happy with the outcome of the job. You know, they're not all tens, and also I'm not a professional spray painter. So I took, I took my time with them. I didn't want to spray it in the cold or in the rain because that's just a recipe for disaster. Um, yeah, the wheels came out quite decent. At least they're all looking the same color now, all looking quite nice. The diffuser is fitted up nicely. So, as you can see, the weather is looking a bit bad. Hopefully it doesn't rain and we can get this car washed and advertised. And hopefully it will sell by the weekend. <laughs>
guys, it's a few days later. We successfully sold the car within 24 hours of advertising it, so that's great. Uh, here's, a, here's a quick price breakdown for those of you that wanted to know. So we ended up paying 40,000 Rand for the car. The M4 dual slit kidneys were 700 Rand. We put a new fender liner in the rear, which was 300 Rand. There was a vent in the boot that we needed that was also 300 Rand. The axle was 700. The brake caliper, rotor and bearing, we paid 1.5 for that. For the roof lining, we paid 2,000 Rand. For the wheel alignment was 1,450. The spray painting materials, that cost me about 350 Rand. Uh, I spent 2,000 Rand on tires. I spent about 400 Rand on car washes. Keep in mind, we washed the car twice. And we did the engine bay wash as well. The diffuser, the bonnet badge and the wheel cap, that worked out to 1,850. I had to pay my mechanic a thousand rand for him to remove the parts and put them for me. For some boot plastics, I paid 300 rand. To, I had to pay the guy's brother to bring the car to me, that was a 400 rand. I also had to pay 2,300 to tow the car back home so I could work on it. And I also put another battery, a brand new battery, which cost me 1,100. Meaning that the parts cost me about 14,580. And we sold the car for 65,000 Rand, giving us a profit of about 10,000 Rand, which is pretty awesome in my eyes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more content like this of buying and selling, please let us know in the, in the comments. Stay tuned for what's coming as well. We're going to be finishing up this car in the next video. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. Peace.